So today I'm going to make a little windmill. Um, I'm going to use the hinge constraint, and it's a little bit tricky. Let me go ahead and add a block here, and I'm going to call this my base. So that's the part that's not going to move. Let me make this small, 1 .1 point, or 1 comma 1 comma 1, and I am going to anchor it, and I am also going to position it at 0, 12.5, and 0. So that's 10 studs above the terrain. But I zero things out so I know where everything's at when I'm trying to line it up. Now this block, it's going to be a simple wing. You can get fancy with the wedges and stuff, but I don't have time. I can't do it quick enough. The, the video gets too long. I'm going to make this, what, 12 and maybe too high, maybe 1.5 high. 0.2 thick. All right, let's move it. Where's my position? Ah, here it is. Let's move it right to the base. Now, before I hit enter, I'm going to turn this collisions off. Ah, I took it anyway. So it's off. I'm just going to do this again. Zero, 12.5, and zero. I didn't want it to go on top like that. I wanted to line it right up. All right, now I'm going to move this out. Now these are lined up. I'm going to put a hinge. This is the tricky part. So your hinges might, it might look something like this, with this little block here, create. Or if your window is squished, you won't even see the create. Just go ahead and click this little arrow here. Hit hinge. And this is the hard part you are going to attach the hinge but that see that yellow arrow it's got to be facing the same direction because we're going to use this as a rotation axis as that one there we go and as usual i did not line anything up well so i'm going to go to my attachment i go to world position because the position is is relative to um the hinge either the hinge constraint or the parent part, I don't remember. But I'm going to make this 0, 12.5, and 0. It's inside my block. I'm just going to move it out. But now I know that it's centered in there. There we go. And this is the one I really messed up, right? Yeah, it's right there on the edge. I'm going to move this inside the block, too. 0, 12.5, and 0 for world position. And I'm just going to drag it right on out. Good. Now, this is the part. The hinge constraints is the part that we would modify with code for speed, turning things on, turning things off. I'm just going to use numbers. I'm just going to use the UI today. So I need to find an actuator type. Oh, here it is. And it's going to be motor. And that's going to give me angular velocity, and that's uh, revolutions per second, right? So it's in radians, so I'm going to say 6. That's about one, one revolution per second. And the max torque is going to be the twisting force that's going to be required to get to that speed. So I gave it a high number. What did I give it? I gave it like a million. That'll work. Uh, whoops, I don't want to do that. I want to change my wing. I want to move this in. Oh, turn collisions on and let it touch. There we go. Now I'm going to turn collisions off. I'm going to duplicate my wing, Control D. But I'm going to delete my second attachment. Oh, here it is. There's my wing. And I'm just going to orient this 90 degrees on the on the Z. So this blue axis is the Z. And that made my little um, there we go. And we got to attach everything. So I'm going to use weld constraints. That's my preferred method of attaching. So part zero will be the wing. Part one will be the second wing. You don't have to attach the wing because the hinge attaches it to the base. But I'm going to, instead of making a building and stuff, because I don't have time, I'm just going to add a pole. All right, here's my pole. Rename this to pole. And 
I'm going to change the orientation of that. 90 degrees in the Z, so it's up and down. Now I'm going to turn my collisions back on. Boom. And let's get it. Let's get it in a position. Zero. Um, ooh, I forgot to see what that was. 2.5 and zero. Oh, so I gave it, made it four because collisions were on, so I popped it up above. That's good. I'll just move this back a little bit, but now I know that it's lined up with my base on this axis. And let's go ahead and make it bigger. And now we'll move it in. I'm going to turn collisions on. Boom. There we go. All right. I'm going to anchor the pole. Anchored. And I'm also going to add a weld constraint to that. And the first part is going to be the base. The second part is going to be the pole. And that should do it. I think we got everything. Let's go ahead and try it. Let me do a play here so I don't land on my windmill. Go home, play here. Yeah, there we go. All right, and now you can make a little model out of it. Let's do that. Base, pole, wing, wing, right click, group, windmill. We need a base part. Which is a primary part, which is going to be our base part. So click this primary part, click base, and now you can move the whole model. So now I'm going to turn collisions off, control D, control D, control D. Now you got a whole little windmill farm. And you can make them different speeds and stuff too, but we're not going to do that today. But you can change, just change the angular velocity. And there you go. 